What up everybody, it's Dan Chisholm. We're back here with another review and... <sighs> Alright guys. We're back here with pretty much my first unboxing and uh, you guys know it's none other than K June's I Saw the Devil set. So K June, an artist in the custom hobby, does very high-end stuff. Mostly 1.6, if not all 1.6 uh, custom figures. He did this I Saw the Devil piece, which is uh, the main bad guy, which I can't pronounce his name because it's all in Korean. Um, he did uh, the main bad guy who is the killer in that movie. Uh, he made his figure, and you guys know this set. You guys know this run who's in the 1.6 hobby, but the movie's insane. It's it's a mixture of between the movie Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman and Saw, essentially, with a little bit of Bruce Lee sprinkled into it action. And uh, so I got this set. Woo! I'm excited. This thing's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be. It's been anticipated. It was about two weeks for it to get to me, but. Trusty knife. And for you people that don't know and are just joining the channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, and share. But also, on another note, for the people that aren't into 1.6 Customs, these are high-end pieces that take years. I mean, between anywhere between one year, two years, to even up to four or five years, depending who the artist is, to come out. And it's all handmade by this one artist. Sometimes there's other artists that come in and do like the clothing or some accessories and like that. But it's very limited. They're usually between a run of five to 50, 40 max. But this was a run of 10. I have number six. And uh, let's get into it, shall we? Goodbye. There's something about custom figures that just gets me super hyped when I shouldn't put the knife away. It gets me super hyped when, uh, when they come in. So, damn, he packed it like, like a lunchbox. Good job, Ina. Woo! Black cotton. By the way, this is the first K June piece we are reviewing on this channel, and it's definitely not the last. Let's just say there's more coming. What the hell, man? Is this like one of those Russian nesting dolls that's just one package upon another package upon another package? Oh my lord. Your packaging is excellent, Ener. Bubble wrap. We got lunch bag material. We got another plastic bag. Which says, I don't fucking know something in Russian. I'm just excited. As can be. And it's funny, a lot of people will keep asking me, Oh, why are you buying these pieces? Uh, you just sold your 1-6 scale collection, blah yada yada Yes, I sold my 1-6 scale collection. Doesn't mean I was ever out of the game. There's always a con contingency plan with that. So this isn't the first time I've sold my collection, just so you guys know, it's actually the second time. And I always come back harder than ever, so this is a little inkling to what's more to come and all that. So trust me, guys. I always have a plan. I don't... I don't go into it just blindly thinking, you know, there's a reason I love the hobby and I've always said I will never leave the hobby, so just stay tuned. Oh my goodness. I will probably do a video, a deeper video of why I sold the collection and, and it kind of goes into it a lot deeper and it might be a little, you know, might piss off a few people, but hey, truth is truth, fact is fact, so I'm gonna just let it be, and I'm gonna put it out there. So, here we go. Let me just clear it off. We have the box. K. June's artwork box. Just had to make sure the camera was still in, in focus, because I don't want to miss this. So, K. June's box, it says, established in 2012. So, this is actually, I think, is K. June's first official run. I was talking to Joe Brad, and he was giving me information on this piece. Uh, that's my boy Joe. <laughs> He's a good dude. 
If you have any questions, go to him, Paul Manzi, or Anomaly682. If you guys are into horror pieces, or if you guys are into uh, some other type of pieces, kind of like K. June's Jesus or anything like that, Rain Man, definitely go to Joe. He knows all the goodies. It says, established in 2012, K. June artwork from Seoul. It's a nice little shoe box pull out, and uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing in there, but good presentation. Gotta love it, because most custom figures don't come with a box. So that is an extra step. All right, so first we have what I'm assuming is the COA, Certificate of Authenticity, The Devil, number six of 10, made by K. June, and then it's signed by the man himself. And, uh, you know, it's just a little cardboard thing, laminated. I think he does uh, different COAs now, a little bit better. This is kind of like old school. Anybody could get a laminator and do this shit, but still cool. Definitely cool when uh, custom figures come with COAs. Uh, there have been some things in the hobby where people have tried to replicate COAs or take COAs from real run figures and then just make their own custom figure and sell it off as the artist figure. It's happened a lot, uh, so be careful with that. This is uh, not a stand that came with the run. I believe this is either Stony Stands or something like that, but it's I Saw the Devil, Enid tossed it in there, and it's nice. I believe this is Stony Stands. There's an ambulance. I don't know. So, really cool stand. It's actually lightweight. I mean, the crotch grabber just doesn't really work, but we'll get into it. All right. So, this is, this is interesting. We have a drawn picture of the actor or the bad guy from the movie, but it's on a cardboard box. And it's signed by somebody. I don't know who made this. I don't know if K. June drew this or if it was Ener. I don't know if it says K-Gen. It might say K-Gen. I don't know. But it was done in 2015. So it, it, it definitely must have not been K-Gen. This is an after all, but it's a really cool picture. It's really well done. It's just interesting that's on the back of cardboard. I actually kind of enjoy that. I don't know if this is done by K-Gen. Somebody let me know in the comments below who's more of an expert than me. So let's do this together, boys. Watch the figure fall out. I don't know what I'm seeing. You guys let me know. Is it beautiful? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Yeah, okay. Wow. Funny. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, uh, let's put this box gingerly down. Yeah. Okay. Wow. First impressions. <laughs> Damn. Lifelike. Lifelike sculpt paint is amazing. Clothing is actually really freaking good. I'm not gonna lie. I, I like this. I like it better. I like it better than the New York Commission one he did. Because K-Jun did the run, and he doesn't usually touch a character ever again. But he did a... Uh, he redid this. He did a one-off, I guess. I don't know if it was for himself or for a commission or something. Where he upgraded this new sculpt. Uh, and I believe new clothing. Which, it's how you should do uh, things if you retouch the character so it maintains the value of the older sets. Uh, you should redo the sculpt, or redo the hands, or re redo it. You know, do it updated. Yeah, so he did it, and I actually really enjoyed the new one a lot. Is it better than this? Might be, might not be. That's all in the eyes of the beholder. But, I just appreciate the fact that he did everything new. So, alright, let's get into this piece. Now, this piece... Doesn't weigh a whole lot, but it's not a lightweight piece, all right? So, I already know its quality. It's got a custom fat suit with some wrapping and all that, but it is a fat suit. I just saw it in there. I love the feel of the pants. It's this really soft material, and it's tailored really well to this body. I love, absolutely love the clothing. I love the sheen to it. I love the printed, or should I say the stickered on? It's not really stickered, but the printed on numbers and logos on it he got everything correct 
And this depicts in the scene where he's in the hospital, uh, where he's kind of like attacking that nurse. And then the protagonist of the movie, which is a special agent or a secret op agent, comes in and uh, screws up his day, specifically his leg. Now with this set, you had the option of having either the arm bandage or the leg um, boot bandage, whatever. Um, there's one set out there that was owned by Joe Bratton that had both, and that's the only set that has the arm bandage and the foot bandage. So my boy Alan got that, and then now it's switched hands again, but that was the only one, and that set was, whoo, was that beautiful. So it's a one-on-one, essentially, but this this is still cool. Uh, I would preferably like to have the boot bandage, to be honest, because that scene was way intense, and that was a cool representation, but this is still awesome, because, dude, this arm sleeve, the material feels quality, stitched nice, and it's got real metal, like, clip-ons. God, the details. I'm like speechless. I don't think I've ever been this speechless in a review, to be honest. <sighs> Head sculpt is on point. Likeness is legit there. The blood work, or should I say, it's not really blood work. It is blood work. It's just wounds that have healed over, and he has a bandage on the top of his head. The bandage is an actual, like, bandage material. The wounds are crusted over, the, everything, you know, the eyes are beautifully painted, the cut on his lip, the hints of, I love, like, he has a five o'clock shadow, the hair is all, you know, it's real material hair, which a lot of artists, you know, that do high-end stuff, actually, I was talking to Joe Bratton about it, they just be doing a lot of, like, sculpted hair, and I actually really appreciate sculpted hair, I'm not gonna lie. With certain applications, I want real hair. But I would have been happy with sculpted hair with this either. But this is just sends it to another moon, you know. I mean, joints don't feel loose. Seems like he picked a nice body. The shoes are nicely sculpted. Um, yeah, man. The cast, he actually used like a cast material for the actual cast. Head mobility is there. You know, a lot of people don't play with their custom figures. I want to know what positions I want to put mine in. Obviously, I'll probably leave it in this position because this is already a good position. I love that expressionless face. It's exactly what the bad guy had in the movie. Uh, the shoes, the paint on the Nike swoosh could have been done actually better. It's not the best. I can still see the black through it, so I don't know. That, that was a little, uh, whatever, but no big deal. I, I can I look past those little things. Now I like the shoes, they're sculpted really well and they have a lot of the details like the Nike logos on the bottom. What I don't like is the magnets that are just glued at the bottom of the shoes. And obviously it goes with the metal base. Now I don't know if K Jun put these magnets on. I don't think he did. Maybe this was an after thing by somebody, or maybe K Jun really did put the magnets under there. I don't know. Either way, I mean you're never gonna see it, but I wish if Kajun did it, it was sculpted into the shoe. But if somebody else did it secondhand, I don't care. You know, I just, as long as I don't see it, it's fine. But I just had to point it out because I'm going to obviously rate my piece the way I want to rate it. Um, two, body proportions are on point. I mean, I, I'm so speechless. I don't think I've ever been this speechless on a piece. Yo, this thing is insane. Paint quality is 10 out of 10. Likeness is 10 out of 10. The clothing, I give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, you know, for 10 out of 10, I gotta get something that's like, every little stitch has to be perfect and no clothing's ever gonna be like super, super perfect. Um, the direction of the project, definitely a 10 out of 10. I love that it's exclusive, uh, you know. Just the whole representation, the box, um, the COA, yeah, I gotta give it at least uh, a 9 out of 10. So overall, this piece gets, this piece gets a 9 out of 10 for me. Uh, just well done. Probably one of the most high quality pieces I've ever owned. Absolutely. Banger of a piece, man. I just, I'm in love. I'm in love. And this is a little inkling to where the new collection is going to go. A lot of uh, very limited pieces where... I know things won't be touched again. Um, more towards one-off things and kind of veering off into a whole new direction. But whew, until next time, guys, like, subscribe, share if you haven't done that already. And uh, 
thank you for the tuning in and just oh. Till next time guys, peace and stay sick. Dope.